welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Megan, just in case you don't know me already. And I'm back with a super exciting video, something really different. For my channel, I'm actually going to be doing some organisation videos. Basically, I used to store all my makeup in this single Alex 9 jar right here. But I've recently bought this other one, so... I'm going to be organising all this because I have a bunch of makeup in my overflow like I have this and I recently got sent this, well I got sent it today uh, from Shop Miss A but I do need to haul that and test all that out before that goes in my drawers. I have this little acrylic thing, I only bought one so that I could try it out and then over here is like a bunch more like overflow so some skincare that used to be in a jar that was here until I got the nine one. So if you do enjoy my video, make sure you hit the like button down below. And I love it if you stick around, hit subscribe, and let's just get into organising some makeup. So firstly, I do just want to do like a little disclaimer. I know that I have quite a bit of makeup for like one person, but I do enjoy makeup. I absolutely love makeup, so that's why I've got a lot of it and I do actually use a lot of it too. So like I said briefly in my intro, I did get this Alex 9 jar recently um, and this one I've had for a while now, but I've really kind of outgrown it. Um, there's a lot of like extremely full drawers and like nothing really fits anymore so I would rather have another jar that's like where both drawers are like a little bit more empty than just having like really really full drawers because I just can't see exactly what I've got. So like moving down here this is like got loads of skincare in it. I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to get that in one of these jars as well. A um, bunch of eyelashes that I'm hoping to get in the P. Louise order with like quite a lot of bases in. So this box here has got a full face of She Glam makeup in it for the video that I want to do. This Fenty Glossy box has got just a bunch of like glitter and flowers and that kind of thing that I do over on my Instagram and then this one at the bottom has got some really embarrassing like really old makeup in that's probably just going to stay in there. These are all empty but I do kind of use them for storage so that's why they're there. So I think I know how I want things to be, what I want in each drawer so I think I want setting sprays, primers, foundations and concealers then I want powders, bronzers, highlighters, blusher, face palettes, like eyebrow stuff, mascara, eyelashes, that kind of thing, P. Louise bases, lip products, skincare, eyeshadow palettes, and then like possibly more skincare and overflow and something like that i'm not exactly sure and then up on top i'm probably going to change out these palettes because i have been using these ones for quite a while now so i'll probably do that hopefully i can find these at home and i'm not exactly sure what to do here because this will be like my new background don't know if it's to get another one of these or this is just there because that's normally on my little like pop-up table for when I'm filming so that's not going to be in my background or the brushes so I don't know I don't know what's going to go there at the minute but let's just organize so I think I'm going to start with primers and setting sprays in the top drawer so this one is currently empty so i think i want to put primers into this drawer and just leave setting sprays so they can both have their own drawer because it looks an absolute mess and i still have an overflow like of sprays over here that really need a home so that's the plan first. So the first step, I'm going to make this my primer draw and this my setting spray draw so I can finally have two separate drawers because it's very much needed. I don't really know how I want each draw to go right now but I don't have any acrylic storage to put in the drawers either. That is something that I am looking into but I want to see what I've got first. 
I absolutely love this yellow one, the face freeze one. It is so, so good. So those are all my XX ones and I, I love it all day. Like I will show you like a better angle once everything's in the drawer so you can see it fully. Um, Elf one, absolutely love this one too. My all time favourite. This is such a good primer. These like squeezy tube primers, um, I'm really not sure how to store them. Um, they're literally just gonna have to be like this for now. But I do need to make room for these sprays. Um, I'm probably just gonna speed things up and have like a little play around with things. So that's all my primers in one jar and it looks so much better. I know it's not perfect but it does look a lot lot better. Um, I'm not really sure how to store these tube ones so they're a bit a mess. I thought about putting that one back there but I use it all the time. The same with these two so I think that's it for now and I'm a lot happy with it. One got left behind, oh two got left behind. So with my setting sprays, I don't know if it's to leave them sideways or, or not, you can't fit two sideways, so is it better to do it this way? I'm thinking that way. So I'll put the ones that I use the most at the front and then the ones that I use the least at the back, but I do use them all if I'm totally honest. Because I've got two Morphe ones, I'm going to put them like that one. So I've just done the exact same with the Morphe ones. Maybe, because there's room at the back, maybe I could put spares at the back there. That might be a good idea too. So I'm just going to take these. I absolutely love this one. One of my favourites. So that's all my setting sprays all. 
done so these are the first two drawers done and i'm really really happy with those drawers so far so in the next two drawers i want foundations and concealers and then powders in this drawer i think this drawer is going to be like pretty empty at the minute so i'm not sure if just powders will go in that in the end but i have this powder from my overflow so i'm gonna put that there to remind me that i need to put it in my powder drawer so my foundation and concealer jar i don't think this is gonna change that much i have got this powder that's like overflow from my powder jar so that needs to go in with powders and then i have some sponges at the back here but they're not they're not staying there i want this container for something else i think so i'm just gonna try and take that out i definitely need some better storage for my concealers but i'm not sure about those yet so now that i've taken the beauty blenders out i have this little like spur thing this is just from ikea if anyone's wondering it's pretty bulky though, so i don't know if i uh, actually recommend it this like little concealer from primark that doesn't really fit anywhere but that's gonna go there and i literally just want to move some concealers over so it's not as like overflow yeah so i'm quite happy with um this drawer so so in this drawer i want powders which are in this drawer right here along this side or oh, they did kind of used to be along this side there's much overflow right now but yeah i want those in this drawer and i'm literally just gonna like in place them in for now and i'll probably do some organizational kind of videos once i've decided what kind of storage that i want within my drawers one of my favorites are Mercier. i absolutely love this i might put these ones in first still need to try this does this Nope. I don't know where that's going yet actually. Um gosh I used to love this stuff. So I think that's all I'm going to do for part one and then make sure you come back for part two where I do my bronzers, blushes and highlighter drawers. So I'll just show you up close what I've done so far with the first four drawers. So this is what my setting spray drawer is looking like. There is slight two layers but I don't mind that. I like that's fine that works a whole lot better for me this next drawer here is a bit stiffer has got my primers in it and it does look a lot better i know it still looks a mess but i'm really happy with it because i feel like i can still reach for everything and try and keep it a little bit tidy so yeah i'm happy with that drawer next drawer is my foundations and concealers so 
I ain't really do much to this jar, but it definitely needs a declutter, so there'll probably be a declutter coming pretty soon too. But yeah, I'm still quite meh about this jar. I'm not really too sure about it. And then the final draw that we did was my powder draw, and this is what it is looking like. Um, I'm really happy with the way that it looks at the minute. So yeah, thank you so much for watching my video today, and make sure you hit like button if you did enjoy my video, and make sure you stick around, hit subscribe with the notification bell, just so you're notified for when I do my next organisational video, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.